I may have a special surprise for you. Really? Yeah. So, our second guest? I want you to close your eyes right now because I hear them. All right. Come on in. Hi. Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome for the second time on the podcast, the homie, professional skateboarder, Norman Woods. What's up, my man? Up, it's been a while, my friend. It's been a little bit. You brought in, you came in hot with this beautiful uh, piece of wood right here. So the, explain, what's going on here? This is... Uh, this is my brand now, so this is your brand. I'm not skating for anybody else's boards no more. Good for you. I'm making Con- my own. Congratulations. Thank you. That's a huge progression, man. That it's it's a because because uh, you've you've ridden for the companies. In the I past. rode for the companies. For, yeah, uh, I know. Orco, right? Orco and then for Bruharia. Mm-hmm. And and even then, before that, I got boards from like Shorties and some other companies. And like they're flowing new boards and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just how'd you come up? I love the name. So. How did this, how did you come up with the name? The name collage, like, I was just thinking, I had some cheesy other names, you know, like, you think about names, and it's just like a filtering process, like, I'm not even going to go through them, I had a bunch of cheesy thoughts, like, yeah. ah, that's corny, that's yeah. corny, and then I thought, I was sitting in my living room, and um, I was thinking about the names of skate companies, right, they're all simple, one or two girl sil- yeah it's usually one or two syllables right and chocolate and i saw all the baker work exactly yeah and my wife ayako she makes collage art and so your wife your wife did, did she this does beautiful all, she art. does all the graphic work yeah she does it really all and, and they are collages because i i had some i had some dude some kind of chumped up dude like oh uh-huh, it's funny that you call it collage it's like okay just because you think a collage means some ugly shit that you made when you were five. No, but it's all. you just paste a bunch of stuff It could be metaphorical. Up. A it collage could, be... could actually be something elegant like this, which yeah. this is a collage. It's, yeah. You know, it's just like a pastiche of different things laid out artistically. It's beautiful. How does she, does she, uh, do you, do you, do you, um, do you do, do you paint it? Do you, do you take, gather from other art? Like how, how do you come up with like. Uh, I always wanted to do something with a title card. Mm-hmm. And That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank, thank you. So, so yeah, she yeah. Do, she does some of them, mm-hmm. like full on hands on paper with paint Dope. and glue, and then some like this are digital. So like, oh, once we decided we wanted to have a company, I turned her on to Affinity Designer. Yeah. And she uses Affinity Designer and just collages it up like that. And she's just been growing ever since. And like sturdy wood too. It's, it's sturdy wood. Yeah. It's maple? We, we we got a it's maple Canadian hard rock ma- Canadian yeah, maple. Oh, she, we got to do ma- yeah, got to do it right down huh? in Oceanside. Yeah, yeah. We, we've been through a couple manufacturers. The first two it didn't go too well. It's yeah. Kind of. Yeah, as far yeah. as the, the the quality of the wood. No, the quality of the wood was fine, but the business wasn't fine. Oh, the business. They were treating us because it's like you're the small guy and you're trying to get in Ooh. and they don't treat you as well as they might treat somebody who they know is going to be around. So right. we had to like, uh-uh, no more. Don't do that. Uh-uh. So how do you work around that? Is it can you do like short runs of boards? Well, or? well, it, it 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 was a process because I don't the, know how it works. Uh, by the way, I don't know how the industry. I, you know. So I've been close enough to understand how certain aspects of it work, right? And I know the more that trial you, and error. Trial and the more well, the more you buy, yeah, the better of a deal you'll get. I know that from all my bulk. other from all my other sponsors from bulk, right? You have to buy in bulk. But it was like we had a dude who agreed to certain terms, certain prices, mm-hmm. and he convinced us to do like pre books. So sell them, and mm-hmm. then he would print them. And then 
we agreed to a price. I paid him to deposit, and then he kind of jacked up the price once he knew I'd sold all the boards because he knew he had me over the coals. Like, I had nothing to do. I'd already taken money. What about the homie deal, though? Psst. So no once homies got, in business. That's what. You, that's, <laughs> that's the first business lesson. Dude, that's no, homies There's in business, no homies in right? business. Unless you're a certain type of Ooh, person. Ain't that the truth, huh? Not it's not it's not true for me because I don't live my life that yeah, way. Yeah, but, but to, but, to well, all these other this, chumps out yeah, here, that's the how industry, they roll. That's how they roll. That's how a lot yeah, of these chumps yeah, roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so, I'm, dude, I'm so happy for you. Do you have do you have you assembled a team or what? Not really. I got some guys that I'm hooking up with boards, but mm-hmm. it's it's difficult, man, because like yeah what we can offer to somebody right yeah and like what that will what that will motivate them to do yeah it's really difficult you know so it's kind of been on my back i've been through some injuries yeah i got a few dudes that i'm like you're still progressing my man like uh, because i've been looking at your instagram (laughs) uh nolly heel backside no like you're like combining you're, try, get, try you're to, getting tech. Trying to make it, yeah. If I'm not gonna progress, I'm not gonna. No, keep. But, uh, no, you're progress because yeah. I remember back then you were you're going. Bi- I mean, you could ollie over stuff. a truck. Over truck. Yeah, you could ollie over a Mack truck. But <laughs> like you weren't. I'm not saying you weren't tech, but you're like I noticed over the years. Like I watch your stuff, and I'm like, oh, he's like flipping into it and then flipping <laughs> out of it. Trying to trying to do more of that. Yeah, it hurts less. Oh, because it it's less. ledge ledge stuff. I'm huh? I'm like 215 pounds, dude. It's it's really? like yeah, all that all really? that all that big stuff. But that's all muscle. Mostly, and that that yeah. So it's just like pounding on your wow. joints. I'm 36 yeah. now. Really, time yeah. flies. Time flies. I know. I knew you when you were 18, probably. Yeah. I knew you. So that's well, like no, 18 years. I knew years. you like in you know Hollywood High, you Scotty. Hollywood High. Shout yeah, out yeah. H-H-K. Like I, that's all. All you know, the boys. Whatever happened, you know, because I still live in the area. Like, whatever. I don't see. So, Scotty's a fashion photographer. Oh, shout out to Scotty. That's shout a, out to that's Scotty. Homie, yeah. Scotty. Marcus is, like, working with 3D printing and stuff. Oh, I, we I love just, that kid. We yeah, he was a good place. kid. Yeah. All, everybody's. Did he have a brother? Marcellus. Yeah, Marcellus and Marcellus Marcus. has got kids. He's investing. Doing is he, all are kinds they still of, skating? Uh, Sometimes. Sometimes. Dude, not they're not dope, as though. They're dope. You know, skateboarding is a big investment because, like, you cannot be doing anything too difficult. And just wreck yourself. So when yeah, you got my kids, cousin, yeah, my cousin, yeah, my cousin, he used to run the FTC up in uh, up in San Francisco, up in uh, yeah, uh, Sacramento. Sacramento, yep. He, you know, he was good too, but he had a knee injury, like his ACL. I feel it. So yeah. it took him out. My knees are jacked, man. Because of like, the jumping, they're okay. But like when I was younger, I would just plant. Like I didn't learn to roll. Like yeah. I jumped downstairs all day. Oh, and, I know, I and know. Just plant, you know. You were at, you've been at it for a while, right? Dude. So that shit adds up. Yeah. So like, it's like nowadays I had to be, I had to be like democratic. Like I gotta consult the different parts of my body. Like, okay, or you just do with the ledge, like, cause that's I run that, the ledge yeah, game, yeah, yeah, and I yeah. try to go up instead of going down because I have a knack for it anyway. Well, and you're so, naturally got like got some pop, barbaric pop, right? Like inhuman superhero. Like I saw you at North Hollywood once, man, and I, I was, you know, I was I was just messing around doing no slide. It was just fuck. And then I saw you, you were there, and then I, I I saw you from the bottom part, and you were casually just skating, and you you ollie just up to the top. Oh, to the thing. <laughs> That's like I, I thought I was tripping. I'm like, did Norman? In my mind, I didn't. I, didn't, I wanted to yell like, yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, did Norman just just casually ollie? Up ollie up the, <laughs> but when you're younger, you don't want to do that. Like, you want to do what everybody's doing, right? So, like, my giant ass body, like for a skater, like you know, most skaters are like thin, five eight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like six one and two fifteen. But your legs are like, strong. You're super strong. Yeah. But that shit. Takes I didn't want to get off course. I wanted to. How do uh, like we're gonna? I want to plug it at the end. But how do? Yeah, yeah. How do people? Because I want to really like. I want people to start buying these boards. How do people be, um, purchase these beautiful skateboards? So our website is very simple. It's collageskateboards.com. C o l l a g e s k a t e b o a r d s dot com. Mm-hmm. And we got a list of all of the shops that are carrying us right now. They're all in SoCal. There's like seven or eight shops. Oh, you got pharmacy? And you can we don't we're not we don't have them in pharmacy yet. Oh, uh, what about what's uh, the other one? We got them in Kingswell. Kingswell, we got them in, yeah, like yeah, in yeah. A, um, in, uh, yeah, yeah. Kingswell, Los, Los Feliz, Feliz. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you can buy them straight up off the website. And so on just, on the site, we've also got like totes, t-shirts, a bunch of stuff like that. Like, if you guys want to support, you can check us out. Yeah. You know what I want to do too in the YouTube description? I'll I'll, I'll put the plug there put too. The plug. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll put the the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you the info. definitely. Yeah, man. So this is a this is exciting, man. 
It is exciting. So it's a progression. I mean, in, in one skateboarding, you know, uh, you know, career or whatnot, is that the progression? Because you know, like P. Rod did it. And everybody, stuff. everybody, everybody's done it. It, it was you know never something that I even thought about. Really, mm-hmm. like, I mean, I never even like thought about skateboarding that way. Like, I just like. Because you're just. Ripping. I just wanted to just go as long as I could go. Oh yeah. And whatever I do at mm-hmm. the moment was just so I could keep skating. Mm-hmm. So. This is just kind of an extension of that. Yeah. And there's a lot of people around that were like, yo, why don't you start a board company? Why don't you do this? And I'm just kind of like, it's a lot of responsibility. Yeah. It's like, you got to do business. It's Am business. I going to end up sitting in a chair in front of a computer? Yeah, but you know, of like, that's everyone's progression. Like, all of the it's legends like, have done, like, like, care, you know, with Girl yeah. and, and P Rod with Primitive, right? And, yeah. And, all, and people like that, right? But we're just, we're taking it. Nice and easy. Yeah, not well, trying to overextend ourselves. Right. So you, it's a modest. It's a modest. Um, yeah. Some people. Some people. Some people try to invest a little bit, like a little more than I was comfortable with. Like yeah. I, I had some people, like let me give you this much money, and what would you do with oh, that? Investors. And I'm like, yeah, like we, like I, have, I have a business partner now, and he, like he helps out, but, mm-hmm. but it's like it's a level that I'm comfortable with. Right. Because a lot of like you see a lot of companies start, and then you're like, oh, what happened to that company? And they just overextended themselves. I'm not trying to do that. Like I'm trying to, keep like as going far as like extending, right? Because you could throw money at it, right? Or like, what, what, what do you mean by like hardware grip tape and like? Just no, no, stuff? I don't mean like the products that you're offering. Okay, because, what do you mean? Because thankfully these days you can offer a lot of products without having to have a lot of back stock, right? Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. you got drop shipping, right? You got all kinds of things available to you, yeah. But it's more like people take on investment money and they get teams that they can't afford because yeah. if you want a certain caliber of talent, usually. You got to pay them this much and you need to take trips and then you need video and then you need editing and all of that costs money. And you can think that throwing money at it is going to put you here. But in reality, it's like a crapshoot, right? Like, Damn, so yeah. for me, it's like, I'm going to keep going yeah. and then I can get people involved that I respect and mm-hmm. help them out as long as they're willing to, to be down with it mm-hmm. and try to build something. That's but dope, I'm not trying dude. to I'm overextend so proud of you, myself. Man. Thank I'm so you. happy you're doing this. I've seen um, people do it so many times. Like no, I've but you deserve it, man. You, you, I, you know, like you've you've been around for a minute now. You've paid your dues. You've jumped down a lot of stuff. No more and, jumping down, man. Yeah. Had um. Enough. Now, what sizes are uh, you? Don't got the popsicle sticks. It's like eight is the eight, smallest. Eight, eight, two, five, eight, five. Like, like that's that's like. That's the new trend, isn't it? That's pretty Cause, much it. Because yeah. back in the '90s, it was like seven point five. It was like seven, seven five. That's right? what I skated back in the day. Seven point five. You skated a seven point five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven point five was some big puffy shoes and spraining my ankle all the time. Damn, some Osiris's or some, something. So, I, yeah. Mostly DVS because I used to get them from Western Korea. Shout out. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. Now, like, I, just out of my own curiosity, I've been out of the game. You know, I, like, I'll skateboard to 7-Eleven, but I haven't really been active on my board. But I've noticed that the skateboarding game has changed drastically via uh, oh, yeah. a social media, Instagram. Like, you want? can we talk a little bit about that? Like, yeah, man. Because back in the day, didn't you have to wait for, like, a video part or whatnot? You had to, come to out in beach us? You had, yeah, you had to wait. And, your, like, companies put out a video, like, maybe every five years mm-hmm. and, like, you watch that video every single day. I like, remember twenty shot sequence. I was bro. like, I was just like, oh shit, this is so cool. Exactly. Like, and you yeah. trade the video to your homie. Fulfill so it's the like, dream. I watched fulfill the dream. That, like that's when I started. Over and over and so over. So I watched yeah. fulfill the dream every day, yeah. and then I traded it to a homie for like Rodney versus Day One Two. Yeah. And then like you trade it to another homie for this, and you got or you, you dub just watch, it. You, you dub, dub it on it. a blank VHS. Nowadays it's just overload. Just overkill. Like Cause just, I noticed even on, on pros, they like they reveal a lot of really good tricks. Like yeah. just like oh, that could have been in a video part or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So it's would you say instead of waiting for this huge product, you're sprinkling? It's like you're throwing things out there. It depends because some people still stick with that old model and they wait and you don't see as much of them. More but of then, a traditional but, model. But then there's other there's about. other people where well you know like if I had been a kid right. Yeah. The, tr- the traditional path in skateboarding was like you get a shop sponsor the shop sponsor likes you so they introduce you to the rep the rep flows you through rep flow if you keep killing it the rep introduces you to the team manager is that how the progression works? yeah 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 the team manager will offer your parents like yo your kid's dope we could take them on a trip you pay this and we'll pay this so there right there you're already at a deficit if you don't have money like me i was fucking poor so, so there's there's a, no fucking way I was gonna do that. So that's a deficit. So right? you're you're already starting oh, the deficit. So, so nowadays, you the trip? 
nah, they've flown you part of the trip. If you're and then once you once you make your way through the ranks, Whoa, then they're flowing you the other part of the trip. Like like even me when I was in my twenties, like I was in hotel rooms where in the same hotel is like kids who you probably know their names now and their parents were that were there with them, like getting a hotel because that's how it is. It's like baseball or anything else. That that's what led to today. So oh, I habit. So that, I thought it was like nah, floating. I thought you nah. know no, just from a, like from uh, yeah. outside spectators sometimes. But right. it just depends on everybody's situation, right? So, like, but if it's a bigger company, like someone like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. A lot, a lot, that's a, how it a works. lot. Like that's how it works because they gotta pay for their actual dudes who they have travel budget for. When you so ride for a company, you have your salary if you're lucky enough to get that. You have a travel budget, and then they have all of this. So if you're a flow kid trying to come up that just got introduced through the rep, they're trying to develop you. They want you when they you're young because you. they want to turn you into the person they want you to be. That's why there's less individuality in skateboarding. Like right. there's less Jason Dills, right? right? And there's more that. like copies of the same kid, oh, cause right? Because it's, it's a proven thing and they just run it into the ground, right? Wow. So the individuality thing is gone. It's, it's kind of gone. That's because, what I miss from the like, 90s. That's what he, you miss. Yeah. Yeah, because in the 90s you had like the old, you know, yeah. what, Steve, like the guy, the kid from, the dude from Shorties. There used to be a real, div, like, like not, I won't say divide because everybody hung out together. But from a zero video to a plan B video, Different. there's a big difference what in their style, the style in the music even selection. The style. Nowadays, it's all homogenous for the most part because, that. because it's corporate. And everyone's good. But then if you have Instagram, you have kids that don't ride for anybody like that. And but they're dope. And like you the, get to like, see them. Like I see like pros or yeah. I don't know, like uh People on YouTube, like they have their own YouTube channel. They have their channel. own thing, and they don't have to. They don't have to fit into those like, parameters. Yeah, like that guy, Aaron Cairo. Yeah, all yeah, those yeah. dudes. But I, he has his own. He's got he's his not own pro, thing. but like he, he, he is, turned him pro. He is for his own thing. Yeah, but for he, his own he doesn't thing. have to go through these companies. So all the gatekeepery BS that you used to have to deal with. So would you say it's like it's, there's a cool guy level? Like like oh, there's yeah. always been a cool guy level. There's like if you don't have the same dickies as this dude. There's like even yeah, like, there, like, a, yeah. like speaker zero. Think about Jamie Thomas. Like he was, he got cool guy at EMB. They like, they vibed him out. And then like, he's got one of the most successful companies ever, but he would have never had that because they were trying to gatekeeper him. Like, ah, oh, that dude's weird. We don't like the way his pants look. Right. So they can't do that now. Cause if, if these companies don't want to sponsor you and you don't want to break your balls for like $500 a month, which is what yeah. you're probably going to get. You start a YouTube channel and make more than those companies would ever. Because you get monetization. So it's better. Like you, the reason you see oh, more wow. output from people is because there's a viable way for somebody who has talent to get their talent in front of people. And there's no gatekeeper ass say, team manager like, oh, dude. He's cool. He's not who could cool. say he's like, cool. no, we're not gonna hook that kid up just because that's not his favorite kid, right? Like right. before, you got all these fat dudes that like wanted to skate. And they never they were never good at skating. Or maybe it's a skater whose career yeah. did. And that dude's the one who tells a kid who has talent that he can't that he can't have a career. That's so kinda, now it's like if that fair. if that if that dude tells the dude, Oh, we're not gonna hook you up, fuck you, I'll make a YouTube. Fuck right. you, I'll get it out there on my Instagram. Yeah. And instead of being sponsored by all these like cool companies, I'll start my own thing. Like, so it, so, so that's so matter. interesting to me because it's not only not only do you have to be good at skateboarding, you gotta be. You your have own to be a man. people person. Like it's kind of like, oh, like I, you gotta. Oh, I hope they like me. But not even the people person. You gotta be the right people person. So what you'd see, like, is you see kids just be quiet, have no personality, because they don't want to say it, and then they laugh when they're supposed right. to laugh. You know, it's yeah. like canned laughter. Like you're in a room full of dudes, and it's like, if the wrong person tells the joke. And you know that that's the person who's on the lower end of the totem then pole. You're then you're not going to laugh. You're going to wait till the dude closer to the middle of the pack, or the du or the dude who's closer oh, to the team. Like it's that. super political. It's so nonsense. it's like high school. It is high school. Right. But but now you don't have to deal with that. Right. You can right. be whoever you want. And yeah. and if this company doesn't want to sponsor you, then it's like fuck you. I'll start a YouTube and, then and I'll you just start your own collage. Do my own thing. Yeah, skateboards right here. You can, can do what. You can, can you say the website? Well, one I'm more an time? I'm an old man, so it doesn't matter. Let's for let's me. plug the website one more time. CollageSkateboards.com. You know what's crazy? Because I, I I have a I I did an album called Collage of the Mirage. Yeah. Collage of the Mirage. Yeah. So it's like we're like you know kind of on the same uh, wave. Like you know it? mine was like more music and but, yeah yeah. But it was it was like I that's the way I felt about music. It was like especially the kind of music I was doing. It was like I was just 
gathering this and that's then combining it with this and yeah, then yeah, yeah. this and that you know matching things yeah that's what i that do. normally wouldn't match but you're making it because work because music, music is a is, is the same as skateboarding in a lot of ways like yeah. you got a lot hey, i made you, music my whole life yeah, yeah all, you, of, all of our stuff are you, I make a, the music are you recording still or what's, yeah, the, what's yeah. going on with that can we talk a little bit I about pu- that i put out usually a track every month but so. weren't you in a didn't you have a band they, i had a band and I don't really have a band anymore. Like, just started rehearsing to play some shows. Well, where's your? Is your but music available? So it's available. Just look up Norman Woods, and it's on any streaming platform. Yeah, that you yeah, look yeah, at. yeah, yeah. Check yeah. that out. Yeah. So we're just playing those songs now. Like I was making rock music. Yeah, that's right? cool stuff. Yeah, singer songwriter stuff with the guitar. It wasn't then. It's more of that now. Yeah, like it's closer to that now. What like, are you recording? Just at home? You I using... record at home, man. Logic get... Pro. That's all you need. Got right? my yeah. setup. Yeah. Got a like little Are you, studio. Do you have a band camp or anything? Or? Uh, no, I don't use band camp. I did for a while, but yeah. it didn't work for me. Yeah. Yeah. I just put it up on streaming. I'm not, cause like, I don't really care to like sell people stuff. Right. I'd right. Rather, right. I'd if you want to, yeah. Get it yeah. out there and you can I mean, there's already enough head, like, headaches and yeah. uh, the, the whole skateboarding. Once thing. you have to sell things, it's annoying. Yeah. So, like, for me, making music, I made it my whole life. Yeah. I made music before I ever skateboarded. Like, yeah. Uh, I just want to get it out there. No, no, that's cool. I'm not worried about selling it. No, no, that's, like, wor- it's, it's the purity, yeah, the purity when, of creating. Yeah, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I gotta like worry so much about like getting someone to spend five bucks on the. That's why if people buy care. my stuff. I like, I, I recognize that. You I recognize see it, it? I'm like, dude, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna. Yeah, yeah. Deal with all that. No, I hear you, but like um. If, yeah. You know, another thing that fascinates me is like with the skateboarding world. It's kind of like, how does one? Because the, the. Like there's one, like for instance, you'll have one athlete like, like a Sheckler or something like they have yeah. the Red Bull or the Mountain Dew, and they're they're making like or uh, Nija or something. Yeah, yeah. But then then you have this other person that's busting ass too, and they're like, they don't have these corporate sponsors. Well, they understood. So like guys like Nijas or Shecklers like because the, they're buying mansions. And they when have I mansions. when I started skating is like 1998, and Sheckler was six. And he's already in Big Brother, and, and all he's all, doing that, is he was on Almost. Then? No, no, Almost this didn't is, exist. Uh, that, this that, is that, before. That, that's, this is that's before. That's when Rodney and Daywan had Decca, so he wasn't riding for any of that. This is yet. before Almost. It was before all that. Because like, he was an am for that, wasn't he, he? Yeah, but this was he was six years old. His parents were get were like behind him though. Ro- oh, so, they supported so those him. people. It wasn't like you or I, where your parents were like, "Don't fucking skateboard, you loser!" Like you know, like oh no, he had his own skate. private park. He probably, had his own. Yeah. I don't know if he had his own private park. But you know, they supported his family it. was supporting him, and so they realized like our son is good has at talent. something and has talent, so let's back him. And so a lot of people hate on dudes like that, but a lot of that hate is like really intrinsic fucking jealousy because there's a real yeah there's, i mean i think that's a support value in it's support a it's a support system you. man if i could if i could trade places and have a supportive family i would definitely trade places and be in that situation versus being the person where it's like in order for me to skate i had to like sell candy out of a bus with no windows just to, just and to. go to weston korea's house and knock and pay 20 dollars to get a used beat up board you know Damn. whereas so, like that was real a, that the kid, struggle was real yeah back yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. that so the reason why there's such a difference is because like if you think about like when everybody was talking about that ten thousand dollar rule shit, yeah, kind of nonsense. It's like a misreading of the studies that actually. Oh, you mean let, let's clarify that. So if you so want to get, hours. yeah, when go you ahead. It's something you do it for ten thousand hours. Whether that's, it's tennis that's, or ping pong, but that's or... not true. You can do something for ten thousand hours and suck because there's a there's a there's a huh. there's a part of that equation called deliberate practice, right? Yeah. So if you're not deliberately practicing, that means like you learn how to kickflip, right? There's three different types of kickflips you could do, right? Like you could do the little like freestyle one with your feet pointed out where right, you kick right. down. Yeah. You do the second one where you don't get very high off the ground, but yeah. you got a little flick. And then you do the third one where like it's like a slingshot. You pop, the board comes up, you flick out, right? right. So you're never going to know how to kickflip properly, how to wow. kickflip into a front crook yeah. if you can't do that third kickflip. So oh, deliver- you need to know- because you need to know. And if you don't know that you're lacking in that area, yeah. then how do you practice to get there? So – the only way that you can approach that is if you're allowed to develop doing that. So right. if you don't have family support, if you don't have people around you supporting you, yeah. you can't deliberately practice something because your 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 existence is so stressed. Yeah. Like 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 if you're like a kid like you or I where your parents are like do something else, but you're trying to skate, when you go out, you're not thinking about like 
I need to develop the flick on my kickflip so that it's not mob, so I can catch yeah, it mom's and get it into this piano front lessons front. instead, right? Or something. Yeah. So the the ten thousand hour rule, the misreading, like, and you can listen to Malcolm Gladwell yeah, on yeah. his own, own podcast talk about like because people read outliers and they're like, yeah. I just gotta do it for ten thousand hours because people read what they want, right? It's like the secret. Yeah, they're like, you have to. I just have to think positively, but the other parts you gotta get good at the thing you're you trying have to, to do. Practice perfectly. So, so that, in that a ten thousand yeah. hour shit, it's like. What he's trying to tell people is that in order to become a master at something, it takes 10,000 hours of deliberate practice, mm -hmm. which is so stressful oh that everyone around you needs to be on board. So he was actually trying to tell a story about how the support system is necessary. So Do you think guys, it's just, yeah. guys like Sheckler and guys like Niger to come back to your question, the reason that they end up where they end up is for one, they have the talent to do the thing. But, Two, but, but Nisha they, had the support too, like they, his mom that's what I'm saying. and his dad. They have the support, and that support is crucial. Like major. And also, in skateboarding, like we talked about, how there's a bunch of, you know, you fall in line. Go along to get along. There's a lot of that shit in skateboarding. You just want to be a part of the, 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 the clique. Pack, yeah. So when you do that, you're not going to make the decisions that are going to put you in a mansion. Unless you get lucky. Yeah, There's yeah, always yeah. going to be a top 1% who gets lucky right. and gets in the position everyone wants to be in. But then everybody who's skateboarding at a certain level has the ability to be at that level. But when you're letting your social circle dictate your decisions That's why because I, your personality yeah. is too weak to say, like, fuck yeah, I want a mansion. But you, you're looking at everybody around you, and everybody's just in a corner smoking weed, like nah, like yeah. that dude's whack because he's successful. Well, then you're going to naturally select yourself out of the conversation right. to ever have that type of success. That's crazy. so. so you thought you thought a great deal that's about what the fuck I do, yeah, man. I think yeah. about everything. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like yeah. going back to like your point, because you can. You, do you think that you know, because like like ethnic kids have a. Cause you know, like, like, like Asian, like I could speak on. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Asian, like Asian parents would be like, they expect well, a lot out of you. Time. Like, what you're are you doing? That's a in toy. Any, you know what I mean? Any immigrant culture. Yeah, that's well, that's what I right? meant. But now that skateboarding's in the Olympics and shit. Oh, so that's which, gonna change. That's not my the idea of skateboarding, but I think it's great because it's exposure, it's exposure, and acceptance, and it's different types. So. I was attracted to skateboarding because I felt form, like but an, it's an art form. In a it way. is, it, yeah. and it's not. It's just yeah. like anything else. You can yeah. make commercial art, and right. you can make fucking posters. Right. You can make cans of soup, and you can have a dialogue with the art community, and you're that's right. why it's, it's all, considered yeah, art. You're right. You're right. Or you can be fucking Henri Matisse, right? Yeah. Or you could be fucking Van Gogh and have your brother paying your bills and fucking, you know, How die in How do they choose obscurity. the Olympic team? Do they need their set They got a whole set of, of rules tricks? that I don't care to learn. But I think it's great that people can reach that level of success with skateboarding because it makes it so that when I'm out trying to skate some ledge and some security guard comes up to me, he'll, he's going to think twice before he talks to me like I'm six years old. He'll be like, it's oh, like, that's in the Olympics. No. This is something that I chose to do. Yeah. That I struggled my whole life to do that has made it so that I don't have to do what you do. In right, all honesty, right, right. So don't condescend to me when you speak to me, because one, I'm probably more intelligent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Not, to, not to be a dick, but yeah. the way they come at you when you're skating in the street, people being in the Olympic skateboarding is going to legitimize it. Right. So it's going right. to put it in a basic person's brain. To That's like graffiti can, or something. Like yeah. If if they had graffiti in the Olympics, they or can something. they can put it into context. Yeah, they would be like, they, oh, yeah. okay, well that's uh, yeah, I saw yeah. that at some uh, art museum and it's exactly. it's cool now. Or exactly. It's, if it's they don't if, if, if they don't have a place to contextualize it, they need context. Then they're just going to put it in the gutter. Right, right. Right. So if you have it in the Olympics and it's legitimate. For one, you, you give people the opportunity, like my friend Mario McCoy, like he's going to be in the fucking Olympics, right? Oh, he's on the he's team? He's an amazing skateboarder. He's on the team? Yeah, and he's one of Can us. Can give him a little shout out? I just did. Mario yeah, yeah. McCoy, shout out to Kingswell. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to everybody from Kingswell, man. That's like, a those homie. guys, That's a Those homie guys then, take huh? care of me. Yeah. They sell our boards. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that guy comes from, you know... He's like, a Holly, he's like a Hollywood high kid? No, nah, he's not a Hollywood high kid. He's from back east. But, yeah, but, but he's he, going to skate. He went through the Olympics. same struggles? He went through the same struggles. I just remember like skateboarding uh, on campus at Arizona State. And like I was like literally, they looked at me like I was they in, look at in a you gang. Like, exactly. They, they, they would say, get off your board. Well, you know? they, when they had the gang and, injunction in Los Angeles, dude. me and my friends used to get hemmed up. Search. Oh really? Fuck yeah! Especially no, they would take my like board. Black and Latino kids. Oh, so dude. they would hem us up, 
So we had to deal with the like 18th Street dudes trying to jack us. Oh, like then, the real gang members? And then the police, because the white fence and 18th Street were right around oh, the corner the back then. That's, the that's the neighborhood right here. So oh, they were trying to, to jack wait, wait, us. This neighborhood used to be 18? They, well, they would be around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 18th Street, white fence, all those dudes would really? be around. So those dudes are trying to jack you. And if they're not trying to jack you on Thursday nights, if you're in a group of more than like three people, they had a gang injunction. So that got, we're Ooh. like 17 so year old kids. Was this in the 90s up. or like early 2000s? This is like early 2000s. They still had it going on. They're the gang you know, injunction. Yeah, there's, that, that's the thing is like, I'm not from LA. I've been yeah. here almost like, what, 20 something years now or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But like, I had to learn like what certain tags What's meant. Cer- yeah. Like, I remember my homie, he, you know, he was uh, in a local graffiti crew, but we he saw MS tag. Oh, yeah. And I asked, like, hey, Don't dog, touch it. What, what's that? And, he, and he, this is what his response he goes, Don't even. Don't, don't even, even bother, bro. Yeah, don't like, even bother. Like, he didn't even want to talk about it. Yeah. Because all I want to know is, Hey, bro, like, what does that mean? He goes, dude, don't even. Don't worry about it. Don't even ask. If you see the trece on it, don't touch it. Don't worry about it. But that's when I realized, like, oh, shit, that has power. Like, just that, what they did in the neighborhood had, like, it caused fear. Well, because they ran the neighborhood. Because, I mean, they're, like, waiting for little kids to have to walk to school. And then every single day. They're just being like, you're going to click up with us. Otherwise, we're going to fuck you pressure. up every day. That's cool. It's about, not even know, peer pressure because it's not even their peers. But it's let's bring it to the dude. positive. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what's cool is yeah. now, like, those kids could pick, the, you know, they could do this. Yeah. And then this is their way out. Yeah. Well, nowadays, people can do a lot of things because they got yeah, the internet yeah. so they can see a lot of things. Right. Like, right. when I lived in South Central when I was a kid, when I had, like, my first skate sponsors, like, I remember Carver Did trucks. Did you get clowned by like local kids? Cause well, I had on skin tight pants and had fucking purple hair, so <laughs> I was fighting like every other yeah, day. Oh, really? Yeah. So they would like yell stuff out the car, like, shoot fucking paintball guns at me, what? or to fight people, all kinds of stupid Damn. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But there were kids in my neighborhood that had never been to the beach. It, oh, because so, they're stuck in there. But room. I would catch the bus to the beach by oh, myself yeah, to, to get my trucks from Carver and go skate. So I'd like take the kids with me. But then you get to Venice, and they even had their like shoreline dudes or whatever. They they yeah. chase us on our skateboard like the Crips. Damn, and sh- yeah. so it's just like, L.A. was a different landscape back then. It yeah, was like you yeah. got to navigate well, all the, these we, landmines. Let's not forget, there's the riots took place. I moved like here. I, yeah. I lived in. I lived on Seven Fourth and Hoover. There. Oh, no, no, are... no. Ninety Second Budlong in the riots in ninety two. So that I was, was right in the middle was, of that it. That was hot, right? There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's hot. past K Town. Like, Coming from Nebraska. Yeah, that's past Korea. That, ninety second. That's south, oh, south, south. All the way south. down there. Yeah, I so, went to Ninety Second Street so that School. Was, that's that was my real. first. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah. So like, let, so let's I was talk a of, weird motherfucker to those kids when I yeah, moved. But, when I moved back, but, uh, I was a weird motherfucker. In my eyes, to them. That's cool. I mean, you, it's cool you, now, but it wasn't cool back then. That's a good point. <laughs> That's a good point. Back then, you were, everything is you know cool what's now. Weird? You know what's weird? That's yeah. good. That's cool. You brought that up because yeah, yeah. back then, even in my high school, you know, I went to high school with Tom DeLonge, yeah. and the, you know, he skated. By he the skated. Way. He could yeah. kickflip back then in like ninety two or ninety one. But there was, I could count the skateboarders on, on like, your hand. on my hand. On That's both how hands. it was when I went to school. Like later, it was like it was yeah. like you were an outcast. But now let's like let's fast it, forward to now. It's like accepted. It's accepted. Like my black friends that skated, have would have a separate pair of shoes. To oh, because they didn't want it. They didn't want nobody to know they skated. So wait, let's let, let's yeah, yeah. Let, let's dig into that. So it didn't they would go to, to the me. skate park, and have. No, there sh- was no skate park. Okay, well they would go to the parking lot. <laughs> they skate a curb at a parking lot. You go something. skate a curb. Okay, and then but yeah, on the way back they had another not on outfit. The, no, not on the way back. Like to go to school, you have a different outfit, and then you go home. And you change, it's and then you go. Is that real? Skate. Like the peer pressure? Like the fuck clowning? yeah? Because if you were a skater, if you were a black kid, then you had to fight the black kids that and were like, "Why the like, fuck hey, are you skating?" This you white boy that? shit. Oh, they yeah, would yeah. say that. Are you kidding me? Hell yeah, that was my existence. Oh, my <laughs> so how did you navigate? Hold up, man, that's interesting. <laughs> how did you navigate like through that? Well, I was like, I was poor and wearing Payless shoes and getting in fights because of that. Before that, because yeah, yeah, I have I some fucking, penny loafers, I have yeah, some yeah, fucking yeah. Jordans. Yeah, yeah. So it's like I'll, I had to fight you because of my Payless yeah, shoes. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna right fight it. you over what I have control over right. my skateboard. Yeah. Do they, is that still around Payless? No, they went out. Well, I, I think used they to went go under there just to get you know for the dances I, and stuff. I, like, <laughs> for the dance of school, school dances. Like, no, that was I, my. I, sh- I, I would that have to get the, 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 the generic, uh, you <laughs> know, Sperry top siders like with the like, generic brand. Nah, I had the like yeah. I had the like Payless basketball shoes where oh, you wear cool. you wear them twice and they stink up your whole room yeah. like it was gnarly. Yeah. Or like at Ross Dress for Less, you're like looking at the shoe aisle. You're like, yeah, those kind of look like skate shoes. Uh uh-uh. uh 
Or, no, no, this is no, before no. school. Like once I before, once I started Ross skating, Stressful it life? was a little different because right, it was right. like I skated. I got good pretty fast. Oh, yeah. I could get a discount at the skate shop, and then yeah, I get to get the get shoes for free. Yeah. So like that shit changed my whole life. Yeah, it did. So like, like in a, a positive way. When a, you say completely in a positive way. Yeah. yeah, like it just made social interactions better. Yeah, it made everything. So back to the being in the Olympics, shit like that. Well, yeah, collage, but yeah, but dude. skating in the Olympics, like that, brings it to more people. Right. Yeah. And you could be. How do you rate? How do you score a skater though? Is it like if you do a slipping switch? It's Don't like, ask me. No, no. I'm just trying to. How do they come up with their uh, the rating system? I've, if you, if it, you do it switch. Okay, then... I've watched. I've watched uh, like contests yeah, on TV when I'm like it. bored or hungover yeah. at home, where like a dude does a nollie crook on a rail and a dude does a back smith on a rail, and they give the nollie crook a better rating, but it's like. I was nollie crooking like 13 stairs before I could back Smith like a seven stair. So like as far so as that, like the difficulty level, it's so subjective. Yeah, it's subjective. But at the same time, when everybody's learning the same tricks and everybody has a criteria that they're learning for, yeah. then there kind of becomes a path and you kind of develop, I guess, a system to judge by. Yeah. Hopefully... Hopefully it's dudes who skated and who skated in the modern era era and who know the difference between like foot placement for a nollie flip back fifty yeah. versus a nollie heel flip back fifty. Right. Because they're both they both seem difficult, but they're both totally different tricks. Yeah. And the difficulty level, the level that you can create one at versus create another at, they're so different. Like but I don't I don't know. Well you're nollie flipping into like no slides now and Right. I can nollie flip in the most tricks and I can do. And yeah, too, yeah, right? yeah. But a nollie heel for me is always easier. Really? So it's like, how do you judge when it's so subjective? Like, I mean, like, like you can't do pressure flips in the Olympics, can you? I hope you can. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I like that about it because it, there's dork tricks that. If you make it look good, right this, right? this is the way I think. If you make it look good, do anything. Right. Right. Like that's what the judges. Are there skaters out there that are like that? Yeah, there's that people just who do, do dork that. tricks. They're, I mean, they're not dork tricks anymore because oh, they're like, people, like no that, compliance that, are cool now. That, tr huh? that trick that we called a dork trick back in the day, that's just because no one cared enough to do it well. Nowadays, no there's somebody who can do that trick and make it look better than a hard flip or better than right. the best kick flip. Give me an example. Because people put like look at anybody who rides for like welcome skateboards right. or or like look at zane timpson hurricane yeah. like like no complying in the hurricanes yeah or look at like wait, yeah. wait wait hold up no complying in the hurricanes on a handrail yeah like so what? all the tricks for back then that nobody took the time to learn to learn to that level this is going back to the cool guy going thing. back to the cool guy yeah, thing it's like is, the yeah. trick's not cool yeah so don't do it like benihana's are not cool those yeah, shoots yeah, yeah. whack well, now there's a dude that do a Benihana more better than the dude who was saying Benihanas are whack has ever done anything in his life. Yeah. So can you fault him for doing it? Right. It's just that gatekeeper shit. Yeah. How does one get, how does like, because you've already been there, done that. How does like, if a kid's out there like watching this and they're starting out skateboarding, like how to, how does one get good? Like, what, do you have any like suggestions or advice for them? Man, kids coming up, like the If you're trying kids? to get good at skateboarding, you just have to skateboard. Like a lot of times, like when I like what worked for me, I was like so hungry to be doing something. Like I wanted to play basketball. Yeah. Parents wouldn't put me in basketball because of whatever reasons. Like I was naturally athletic. Like I was like lining kids up in front of my middle school, running and front flipping over six kids on concrete. Yeah. But they wouldn't put me in a gymnastics class because they couldn't afford it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So when I found a skateboard. They couldn't pawn the skateboard, right, or nothing like that. So I wasn't going to come home, and it was like I had a bike when I went to school. Now I don't have a bike anymore. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to fucking take a skateboard in a pawn shop, I don't think. Yeah. So every moment that I had on the skateboard, I skated, right? Like me and, and the kids that I was closest to, like when we were at the skate spot, we were skating four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hours a day. Really? Yeah, yeah. And, and, the there's, a, and there's a position. The there was no Gatorade because we have any money. We go to In-N-Out. Oh, you get a water you, cup. And, and then just put drink them, that water you know, all day. Oh, 
right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right. So, so because you could get you could actually you could, put yeah. Sprite uh, Seven Up in well, it. Too. I wouldn't do that because uh, if, if you're drinking, you could just say it's water you're, though. If you're, but if you're drinking Sprite all day, you're gonna be de- <laughs> sorry, you're sorry. gonna be dehydrated. Oh, as right, fuck, right, yeah. right, right, right. So well, like, I do that. I just do, I do you, stuff like that. When you're when you're out skating, just skate. I still roll like that because I see it a lot of times. Like a kid will come up to me at the skate park and ask me, "How do I get good? How do I do this?" And it's like, "Oh, they ask you. They ask me that, and I'll because they see you all laying over bridges. I'll help them with the trick. Yeah, but then the kid will try three times and go sit down and it's like oh so you need you're not to gonna have, get good sitting down you with your to, homies like you have to persevere yeah through that. like i like for me like i needed it so much because i didn't want to be at home and dealing with whatever yeah so it was like to the point of being a dickhead it was like if i was trying to like learn how to nollie backside flip the five stair it's like don't even talk to me unless you're skating it with yeah me. Like, right, I'm, right. like we're friends but we're not friends right now because yeah. something inside of me just wanted to do that so you have to have that drive so if you don't have that kind of drive you, you're never gonna get that good, which right. that's okay too. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. Like that's it's fine. It's not for everybody to be that relentlessly dedicated to getting good at something trivial, right? Right, right, right. Because right, right. there's a whole other aspect of life that yeah, you could no, be. No. But for me, that was the only thing outlet. that I saw as an outlet yeah. for that side, and it needed to express itself. So well, if you want to get good at skateboarding, then skateboard. Like, don't go to the park and skate for ten minutes and sit down with your friends for an hour. And then try a trick for a few minutes. That's never going to amount to anything. Like you're basically that's your social setting at mm-hmm. the time, which that's that's fine too if you just need a social setting. But nine times out of ten, or don't just sit there and smoke a blunt and just sit. Yeah, like, yeah. Because I've that, seen that too, yeah. like at no home. Well, because that's your that's just <laughs> yeah, your that's, that no that's just your social setting. But they have a skateboard and a backpack, but they're smoking. But that's just your social setting. So oh, that's the that's right, the dif- that's right. the difference. Like that's that's there's a very big difference. Like. And nine times out of ten, if you're spending three hours at a skate park and you're spending that time just sitting around, you're pro- the rest of your life you're probably not ded- that dedicated to anything either. Do you, do you coach? Can you co- can you I teach, teach kids? I teach kids hey lessons man, let's, all the time. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's 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 talk about that because I, I've Oof. seen some of your tutorial. No, no, I like I got, it, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you have tutorial videos on yeah, yeah. like trick tutorials, and this is going back to now. They have the internet to learn. They got the internet tricks. to learn that. But like, how does one get lessons or like want to um, learn? You can just email me through the collage site. Um, but honestly, like, I'm a f- completely full schedule of one-on-one lessons right now. Like, I don't have. Oh, you do one-on-one. You know, I do one-on-ones like oh, that's all cool. week long. All week long. So I'm like booked up, but I do. I have a Patreon. And if you sign up at a certain tier, uh, I have a few people like you can find it through my YouTube channel. It's all just Norman Woods. And like I do Patreon dot com slash Norman Woods. I would couldn't tell you the URL. But if you find Norman Woods on YouTube, is there a link? I link your it website? in my videos. Oh, you link, in your video. I link it in my YouTube. OK, videos. that's what's up. And those are all tutorials. And uh, can we plug the YouTube channel so they can plug the it? YouTube channel is just Norman Woods. So if you type in Norman Woods mm-hmm. and skateboarding, I like the trick sure tutorials. Thank you. You have, yeah, a very, yeah. you have a very old heel one, and right. I got a very old heel yeah, one. Yeah, a, yeah. a bunch of different, like diff, because because what I saw on YouTube was a lot of people break down tricks. Yeah, like it's me talking to you, two guys that have skated for twenty plus years yeah. talking, right? Yeah, but they don't break down your kinetic chain. They don't break. What do da- you mean by that? So I- everything starts from your shoulders if you're talking about movement. So if somebody just tells you where to put your feet and how to pop, but you've never popped and you don't know that you're popped. Is, is, is a function of the leverage that you create by right. crouching and that when you crouch Whoa. don't don't bend your back over yeah it's all in your legs and keep That's it back what's up. if you don't know to keep your shoulders parallel to your skateboard so that you can generate that motion like you're already at a deficit because your kinetic chain is all fucked up yeah so like i know that because that's how i learned to skateboard like i watched people who did things well and i could break it down just by seeing it that's how I could learn tricks. With their foot placement, body their foot placement posture. Their bo- more, more important than their, their feet body. is their body. Because a lot of times with tricks, if you have the right motion and your body's right, your feet can be a little bit off. But if your feet are in the right position and your body is off, you can't make up for that. right? Because, give, give me an example of a specific trick. A like- nollie flip is the best example because... Your front foot is covering the whole board and your back foot is barely hanging on, right? Yeah, how do you And see that's that? so counter to how you're used to skating. Yeah. Because it's backwards, right? It's backwards. So it took so long for me to learn that the Nollie flip was kinda like a pressure flip. Like I'm trying to pop straight down. Yeah. Like you would for an Ollie. Yeah. But it, instead you want to put your foot kind of in the in the, in the, in this little like yeah, ditch but... of the board here. And you want to push your foot forward. So that when the board comes up, 
it's already flipping off your back foot. It's like a pressure flip, and then you just suck your knees up. And I watched like Brian Herman's nollie flip in the middle of a line in this is skateboarding. And I could just like intuitively understand what he did, even though we're a different stance. I could understand that he was dividing his pressure between since he's he's regular and I'm goofy. Yeah. So over his left shoulder is part of the pressure. Yeah. And then his right shoulder is right on top of this toe in the back. And I just mirrored that. And oh, after that, wow. I could nollie flip well, like every time. So I noticed oh, that people who break down tricks on YouTube, they don't usually get that granular. Yeah, into the motion that's important though, and a it? lot of them don't have language skills as well some people do i'm not saying yeah, everybody yeah, that's yeah, a generalization yeah. but yeah but like i that, that there's something that i could bring to the table that i didn't see serviced all the time so i like that I you're doing making, that so yeah so yeah. definitely go to youtube and uh, to YouTube. look for uh, norman it, woods videos just, yeah keep doing those, those I, are great. I need to be more consistent with them yeah no but, but what tricks have you covered you uh, uh varial flip uh I've, pop I've, shove it i've done front shove it you have i've done front side shove it kick flip heel flip tray flip um, uh, I've done like 50 fifties. Mm -hmm. I've done board slides. I've done feeble grinds. Do you have a crooked grind one? Cause you're I good don't at... have a crooked grind yet. Why don't you do yeah. that for one? Cause you're good at that. I got to run the crooked. You know grind. what I mean? Cause yeah. I've noticed that you've, you've, you're, you're doing that in your videos. A lot of it is just me being busy, man. Cause like I, I yeah. teach like 12 to 15 yeah. private lessons every week. And it's like six. Sometimes no, no, seven I understand. Days. It's just, like, I have a, I have a personal yeah. question because yeah. I've never, Figured that like I can nose backside nose slide. Oh, the crooked but, yeah. Grind. Do you think it's harder once you learn a backside nose slide to shift that? No, you got to think of them as separate Cut. tricks. Oh, so with uh, your your go your regular foot is no, right. goofy. You're goofy. Yeah. All right. Next time, next time you go to try a crook. Yeah. Put your front foot all the way across the board, and have it like this far behind the bolts. Back foot, right in here, right. Like I call that the little ollie box. Yeah. And then you got to remember. That when you're no sliding, a lot of times I put all my I put all my weight on this, and you're not popping. You're no, not, you're not popping. I'm, I'm you're more just like kinda, shifting. Right, but crook is not that. So a lot you of times, you have to pop. What messes you up from no slide to crooks is I'm you sorry, don't I'm pop. sorry. I just need to know this because because cool. uh, because the times I did lock into it, it was by accident. It was by, so you gotta and I'm remember like, and to I, pop. And I freaked out because I'm like, oh, I'm 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 actually grinding it. Oh, you know, and then I just hop off. You gotta remember to pop. Yeah. You gotta remember that when you're grinding the crooked grind, your body shouldn't be extended. You should be crouched, and then you gotta. Oh, cause you have to kind of lean back a little too, got, right? You, well, you right. don't have to lean back. You want to be straight, and you want your legs to create that forward motion. Your legs has to straight. Your leg. Your leg has, has to, to push. Oh. That, yeah, that, yeah. And then, and then you want your front shoulder to be inside, your back shoulder to be outside, so that you're counterbalancing it, and you can pinch it in. How do you, you lock in into the front truck? Like, do you I? You gotta pop an ollie and point it in. Just pop and point it in. Not like a no slide at all. That's what that's it's that's different. It's different. It's, it's different. So Cause I always thought, Oh, I just, you know, I learned it, it like a no slide. I learned it like a no slide, but bashing the truck into it. Like that's how I learned it too. Oh, you and had a bad, to, to I had a, hey, I had a bad different. technique and I had to watch people who did it well in videos and figure out. Cause why. once they lock in a lot of the people who do it well, could they just lock? Cause in it's not a no slide. It's, it's not, not really, it's no not slide. related to a no yeah, slide at all. You don't grind the same way as a no slide. And you gotta like get that in your head. Yeah. Which kids kids nowadays don't have a problem with that. I think it's our generation because we grew up skating such small stuff. Oh yeah. Oh so yeah. Yeah. Cheat. Yeah. You could cheat the crooked grind. You oh, could so just, you could do slappy crooks. You could do like a half-ass no slide, but kind of bash into it, and it oh. would work on a little curb. But oh. nowadays, kids are skating ledges, skating. Or at the skate park. You're not gonna get away with that on a road. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you think that's so, so that's interesting? You brought this. How are we doing on? We're doing good on time. Um. Um, do you think that as far as the generate the next generation of kids coming up, do you think they have an advantage because of all these awesome skate parks? Of course. I mean, that's like of course. Back then, it was, they, we had the Ralph's parking lot. They have an advantage in just about every way because internet, YouTube. It's like it's like what I do. I teach people to skate. Like people's parents want them to skate. Oh yeah. Like I remember the kid who I thought was like the coolest kid when I first started. This kid, Chris Johansson, like hopping out of his bedroom window because they didn't want to let him go skate because they thought it was like, you know, like devious. Or, yeah, like, like yeah, a, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it's like going to his house and he's got nine inch nails playing and he's got giant ripped up. Pants. Yeah. Yeah. And his parents were like, you're going to be a bum and a loser if you do that. Right. Yeah. 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 So you don't have that. That's advantage. Number one, you have 
every skate video that you ever want to watch on YouTube. The internet, yeah. On YouTube. Yeah. You have skatevideosite.com so you can learn what song is in what part, who had a video part and what. If you don't yeah. want to watch the whole video and you just want to watch Heath Clips. Kirchardt's part in Sight Unseen, you could, type you could that find in. that out and yeah. you can type that in. They have every single advantage. You have skate park. It's beautiful. It's the perfect time to skateboard. Like yeah. skateboarding, like there's a lot of people and they have these logical fallacies in their brain. Like back in my day, shit was better, right? Because their little tiny brain can't yeah, wrap their yeah. head around it's progress. Evolved, it's the evolved. shit evolves. It's just like what you're saying about music. Yeah. It's a pastiche. Yeah. You put the past and right now and hopefully the future together. Yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. can't. A lot of people are clinging and like, it was better in my turn. Yeah, yeah. They got an advantage in every single way. Every single way. You can buy the shape of board you want. You can find it. Yeah, how did you come up with this shape? I, I'm just, yeah, like, is we this... We got lucky with this one. Because like, how, this what is, is this modeled after? I'm just, just interested. This is just similar to a shape that I skated before, and I just saw that they had that shape and said, perfect. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to do too much. Right. And I got lucky. That's good. I got so really good. lucky. Yeah. Because there are some bad shapes for me out there. I had a big foot, mm -hmm. and if the tail is too small and my whole foot doesn't fit on the tail comfortably, mm -hmm. can't skate that. If the nose and the tail are too steep, mm -hmm. I can't skate that either. So I got kind of lucky with that. You know? How many different designs uh, on your web? Like, is this just, available? Just this one shape. Just this one shape. No, as far as the, the, the graphics or what? Just whatnot. this graphic right now. So, so One so graphic, you, three sizes. That's yep. it. I we love do it. Run at a time. We got we got some interesting things coming up next though, because we have like go ahead. You want let's you want to talk a little bit about that? Like what's what's in the works? We got some guest pro models. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna drop the I'm You're not just... gonna drop the names yet of not who yet. we have guest models from, but yeah, we have uh, two in the works, and they're mm -hmm. two legendary skaters that I grew up watching, and that I'm lucky enough to be friends with today. Have I heard of them? Of Maybe. course, you heard of them. They're from your generation. My generation. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some like really respected. Oh, dudes. I already know. I'm not gonna say. Don't say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. Should, yeah, but yeah. I already know intuitively. They, but they rep. Can I can I bring it up after the cameras are done, and then you could tell me. Oh when yeah. They, you, when you the could, camera. You could bring no, it up. No, no. To when me. the cameras are off, can I say is it this person? Of course. Of course. I'll I'll tell you who they are, but we're not gonna announce no, it no, yet. No, 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 no. We're not doing it here. Yeah, no, yeah. no. Because no, we have to keep one, it a surprise. Because one of them is already like finalized that it's happening, and then the other guy wants to do it, and we just have to like negotiate everything so if i think it's the person i'm thinking of I, i'm hyped on that yeah yeah you'll you'll, yeah, you'll be hyped. yeah yeah because oh, you I know. watched them and you mentioned a video that one of them was in oh yeah already earlier in this conversation so that's the only little tidbit that i'm gonna drop but uh yeah, they'll be good ones, and they're down to rep collage. And I'm dude, down that to rep good them. for you because I like that way you're paying homage to the past to the as pa well. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. wh whoever you're putting but on, I, I bet you is like, uh, you know, definitely like lead. Like the just, kids that I'm hooking up are sick. They're, they're do the people sick. approach you? They know about this, like at like a yeah, local. They'll be like, "Hey, yeah. Nor." Like, yeah, people know about it, and I wish I could give every single person a board. I really do. How how does but one get a? Let, let's say you're at a, a spot and stuff. Do, do do people do they flex and like, "Hey, look at the trick, look at this hard flip," or look at the, like do the or do they skate super hard in front of you? Because my cousin, my cousin talked about that even when he was doing the FTC thing. He was said it? he was like at certain spots, people would just completely flex, like hey. Like. Sometimes they will, but like if I'm out skating, like actually skating, I don't even pay attention because <laughs> okay, I gotta okay, like, okay, fair I enough. gotta like do. You're doing, you're working do, out your yeah. own kinks. Okay, so no, it's I understand. Like anybody who's there with me, yeah, like I'm paying attention to them. Yeah. Because they're going to hype me up. Oh, yeah. But anybody else, it's just kind of like, I can't even think about yeah. you. Are you it's, it's the same thing about like when I was learning how to skate. Like, I don't, that, that's why contests suck because you got to like worry about, worry about people looking at you. Yeah. And, like people skating through you and all this. And it's like, I don't care about this crap. You just want to do like, it. I just want to skate because yeah. it makes me feel good. Like, yeah. I'm not trying to dodge. I'm also like usually one of the biggest dudes there. It's like, I don't right, worry right. about if I crash into you. Yeah, and yeah. You'll get hurt. I probably won't. Mm -hmm. It's just all bad for me. Right, right. So it's like, usually I don't even go skate. Like, if there's... Too well, many... are, you, are you still going to parks and stuff? Like I where... go to parks. Because a lot of the footage I see, like, are street spots street or spots. some, place, yeah, some yeah. place in downtown LA. Well, when, I, or... when I go do that, I try to go by myself. Or How do you like film that? Do you have dudes. a filmer? Who's filming I got a, you? I got a dude who films me. Oh. Like, a Lawrence McCullum films me a lot. I film with some other people, like Spencer Burdock sometimes. Mm -hmm. And just, like... Just, just, just. It just depends on who's available when mm -hmm. I'm ready to go. Cause like, I try to go when the spot's not gonna be crowded. Right. Cause I don't want to be 
bothered with the whole. Even if it's like other great skaters, like don't you don't go to Jaquan or nothing. No, I don't. I don't, you don't go. I don't want to be bothered. With that. <laughs> like I, I like no, but, have fun skateboarding. But like, don't, I, didn't they have like a thing of Sunday like where people went there? They did, but like, but just, then you, but then it's like if I go to a spot like that and I'm gonna try to skate to the best of my abilities, like I don't want to feel like I'm like trying to show these dudes what I can do because I don't care. Right. Like, I'm trying to go out and skate for me. Yeah, and yeah, so for sure. So I don't sure. want to be bothered with all these other people. And and then when you go to a spot like that, people oh. are trying to like flex. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Dude, I don't care. Like I don't like, want to say if, the if, names if, of if, who if, I if, saw. If, this is years ago, but I I just remember tripping out because I'm just sitting there. And I'm yeah. Like, oh, that's that person. Like if you're not that's Mark that Johnson or Stevie Williams or like somebody that I grew up what like it's like dude, I don't I don't feel like being bothered with all the yeah. that shit. Like I just want to go and have fun. So, so definitely, like, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> get your collage skateboard today. Hey, are, what, are you in the works for a video part or anything that? I had a little injury. So okay. it's, it's been like, it's been nagging me. And then we had a little car accident. So mm -hmm. that's bugging me too. Okay. So I'm just giving it a little bit of time. I'm going up to Woodward with Destructo. Mm -hmm. uh, Trucks? Later this month. Okay. See how that feels. Mm -hmm. And then I will be working on a video part as soon as I'm ready to work on it. Like, Dude. I got That's some so I got some tricks filmed for it already. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I had a nasty ankle sprain. Like and it and it like coincided with starting collage. Yeah, like yeah, we yeah, got yeah. the first run of boards in July. Damn. And then I hurt my ankle at the end of August. So then it's a high ankle sprain. They take the you, longest to heal. Are you doing physical therapy for that? Or? A little bit, yeah. Okay. And do, mostly doing the exercises they Good taught for me. You, at man, home. I'm just I'm hyped on what you're doing, man. Thank um, you. Did you wanna let's uh because the hour has damn, yeah, flown yeah, yeah. by. Flown by. Um, can we? Oh, now... I talk a lot. So. No, no, dude, come on. There's a reunion, brother. I like, like, Good to you know, see you. I got a love for you and Scotty. You know, you guys have always been around. And the you man. guys have always been cool to me. <laughs> just been cool to going us. to in and out burger. Yeah, we're filthy yeah. little kids. Yeah. <laughs> um, can we? I want to plug uh, the the website again. Your Instagram, or just anything you want to plug right now that we might have missed. So. So yeah, let's plug collageskateboards.com. Uh, all of the shops that carry the decks are listed on the page, and. I just want to thank all my sponsors. Like, I want to thank Kingswell because Kingswell's have my back. You they got a tattoo your... shop in there too. Not right now. Oh, okay, no. Because the pandemic, oh, like, okay, it made okay. everything I, weird. I noticed but that they, they yeah, historically that they would have yeah, the tattoo yeah, yeah, yeah. shop. That was sick. I yeah, got I a little yeah, yeah, yeah. spider Mickey Mouse yeah, tattoo from yeah. them. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I noticed it was yeah. like, like a nook in the corner. In the cor yeah, 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 yeah. Like that was that was the best. I'm sure they'll get it started back up. Yeah. Now that they can. I like that neighborhood too. The neighborhood's awesome. Yeah. Los Feliz is dope. Like my dad took me to the Dresden the first oh, time yeah, when I was dude. a kid around right the corner. There. House of Pies. House of Pies is right there. Right there. Yeah. Fred 62. Uh-huh. And, and uh, yeah, like Destructo Trucks, like Jessup Grip Tape. Mm -hmm. um, Keep going. Scott Mackey mm -hmm. and uh, John Erickson at Converse. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for hooking me up. Oh, yeah, yeah. John yeah, Fallahee from Acid. I'm hyped that you're wearing those. I'm hyped. Those they're are good, dope they're shoes. They're good to skate yeah. shoes. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, they're, they're yeah. dope shoes. Like, yeah, yeah John Fallahy from Acid. Thank you for hooking me up. Mm -hmm. Devium clothes. Acid wheels. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Acid, yeah, yeah those yeah, are, those yeah, are yeah. they're amazing. Mm -hmm. Like they, a, a person my size, like flat spot wheels usually. Yeah. But yeah, thank you Ayako for making the graphics. Yeah, so and just shout for, out to Ayako for the, up the art me. on the boards. Uh, your Instagram as well. Instagram is just Norman underscore Woods. And yeah, if you want to check out my music, also yeah, it's. Go ahead. Uh, any streaming platform that you have, you can check it out there. Just search Norman Woods, and I got a assortment of some tracks up there. And look I got, out I got, for his Patreon um, via his YouTube You're going to have to find that because I don't yeah, know what yeah. the URL is offhand. But definitely uh, check that out. Uh, yeah. And check out his tutorial videos as well on YouTube. Nah, if you want me to bark yeah. orders at and you And if you want, um, like, uh, yeah, he does uh, lessons as well. Um, his schedule's busy. I do but, those. Uh, I maybe, probably, you could, maybe you could fit one or two in there, no? Maybe. 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 Okay, dude, Probably. it was an honor. You're always welcome. You know, you and just you. come on, man. Thank you for bringing it's me. It's just on. a it's a reunion here. It's perfect. Can you believe I've been here for a long time, huh? You've been here for a minute, like yeah. You know, I'm getting kicked out of here. Why? Oh, because they're gonna knock it down and build up a luxury part. Is those Israeli owners, right? How do you, How do you know? Because my buddy worked for them, so yeah, uh, you're the out, second man. one of my yeah, friends. Yeah, they boot me out, dog. Yeah. They boot me out. My other friends well, got I'm kicked out. Either down to K Town. I talked to. The oh. homies down there. I might be going down. I don't know. You know, I don't want to move. I've been here for almost twenty years. I have two friends who got kicked out of theirs, years. and they they their theirs was right down the road from here, 
and they so got they got through the same thing. Yeah, theirs is already a high rise. Oh, you know they're building condos. How yeah. you already know? Well, okay. you already freaking so know. Look friend, at this block, dog. My friend from Hollywood High. Sorry, I'm getting emotional. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, cause I, cause I, cause I'm sorry. I don't because I don't want to move. I know you don't because this is dope. My friend from Hollywood High lived in one of these, but the, he worked for those guys, and they would have him help them kick people out. The Strange. From Hollywood oh, High, you remember yeah, that dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he Whatever happened to those little kids, the the brothers? Rob, dude, they're Remy, like uh, they're like killing it. They're like engineers and yeah. And, I like yeah. those kids. Do you remember them? One yeah, of them yeah. was on Baker. I, I, still, the I, st- I still talk to him. I, I just did. I just did Ramsey's oh, I'm sorry, podcast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh no, we're gonna we're wrapping it up. Yeah. We're wrapping it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, oh. Go ahead. I just did Ramsey's podcast. Yeah. He's got a material science. Shout out to Ram- Ramsey. Shout out to Rami and Ramsey. R- oh, shout out to shout Rami out to and Ramsey. Everybody from Hollywood High. I love those All kids. They're such good kids. Love you guys. All right, look, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Um, I've yeah, talked so, too um, long. No, 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 dude, come on. <laughs> uh, so there is a website attached to the show, uh, StevieWeeby Patreon.com, StevieWeeby, Instagram slash Q U A N G O U, StevieWeebyBandcamp.com. There's a P.O. box if you want to send any packages or mail or anything. Go uh, send your all your packages to 1425 North Turkey Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A. California 90093. Oh, Scissor Bros. I'm a part of a new podcast uh, called Scissor Bros. We just did a poo challenge. It's crazy. I it's kind of like that. Jack. It's kind of like Jack. I saw, I saw, you saw it? Yeah, yeah. Dude, that was real poo. <laughs> oh. it, it was real. <laughs> Well, you didn't think that was real? <laughs> no, that was real. Yeah, I drank um, laxatives and uh, stool softeners. Yeah, oh. it was real. Oh. Yeah. Dude. We stank up his garage so bad. I bet you did. Poo city, dude. But, so, well, and we did electro garage garage yeah. than your place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but definitely, um, again, I, I want to emphasize this. Definitely buy a collage skateboard today, folks. We would be Say grateful. the website one more time. Collage skateboards.com. Collage skateboards.com. Not college. A lot of people collage, think it's college. Like collage, like an art collage. You guys watch too much Animal yeah. House, right? Buy your board today. They have three different sizes 8.0, 8.25, 8.5. 8. 8.5. 8.5. Three different sizes. Beautiful art. And you got to support it. You got totes and t shirts as well. So Is, are they coming? They're 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 already on the site. You can oh, get Oh yeah, them. yeah. Yeah. Get the gear too. <laughs> My buddy Skip is a trip feeling blue like a crit. Straight for robbing a bank, letting loose from the hip. He really couldn't predict this grip was so full of amps. Him and Henry were with Peckers did a song that dance.